chose the pen and you get these pop-out menus. You can change the colors and things like that. I can change thicknesses, um, even on for some versions uh, or depending on your platform, you have some options with the pen type. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to stick to uh, the standard. So oh, let me turn my do not disturb on. There we go. And I'm just writing the word hello. Explain everything. Whenever I uh, am drawing, I'm in the mode of drawing. Um, everything is being basically captured in one, uh, we, we like to call it an object. So watch what happens when I switch to this hand tool. So now when I put the pen down, nothing is happening because I'm in this hand, but I could grab my word hello and I can move it around. So I drew something, but now it became an object that can be moved, rotated. I'm using multi-touch gestures. You could see two points of contact and scaled. Anything I add to the canvas um, has those properties. I can do those things with it. One of the kind of learning curve elements for folks who are new to explain everything is to recognize that like, if I draw an X over here and an X over here, what's happening, I'm gonna show you when I click the check mark and you'll see it flash for a second. There was that rectangular area and I'll show it again using the inspector. So in order, you know, when you're designing software, you have to like make some choices around the experience. And so what happens is those two X's were drawn in the same uh, motion. So they've actually become uh, one object. Now there's ways to break it apart, but if I'm writing hello, here is that word as one object, or I'm gonna write H, I'm gonna complete the object, E, L, L, O, exclamation mark. Watch what happens. Now each of those letters are their own separate object. So this is just one of those um, introductory elements that I think folks get, um, it, once you understand that that's the logic, you realize, um, how to like set yourself up for for few, better success and for kind of future possibilities. Um, so now each of these letters are individually um, separated. So I could create a fun activity saying like, hey, arrange these letters um, in a way that forms a proper word. Nice. So Rashawn, you mentioned the yeah. word future. So maybe just let me throw you a hint here for those that are watching us. We're soon to roll out a new version of Explain Everything. It's, I guess it's going to be version number six on iOS, where if you draw those two axes like you did, they will be uh, treated as separate objects. So we, we understand this might be confusing at, uh, for those that are new to explain everything. So we're going to make it simpler in the future. So if objects are in, in separation, they will become uh, written uh, with just one and gesture here or two gestures, they will become two separate objects. So improvements is coming. Oh, that is going to be amazing. <laughs> 